Hello! Welcome to another edition of uh, the Expat Adventure. I'm Can You Dig It? And this is the cat. Meow! Uh, yeah, we uh, we landed in Boca del Toro yesterday, last night, and uh, there's quite a bit of uh, nightlife here, as you can see. Um, when you step off the boat, you sort of get a, uh, a Mackinac Island vibe. Uh, all of my Michigan peeps will know what that means. Tourist trap. It's it's kind of a tourist trap, um, but uh, it's it's a much bigger island than Mackinac Island. Um, so yeah, uh, there are actually cars here, um, and it's kind of a party town. Um, yeah, I get I get a you know a good vibe. I really I really like the area, but you know it's a tourist trap. I mean it's not. <laughs> it's not really sustainable for long-term living. I mean, not right, not right where all the stuff is happening anyway. Um, and it hasn't rained yet since we've been here. We've been here uh, just over 24 hours. There's some surprise that it hasn't rained yet. It's been hot. Um, but yeah, we get a sense that uh, like everybody knows each other. There's like a sense of a small community. It's an island, so. You know, we we go talk to one person, and, and they know everybody else by <laughs> name and location. Because remember, there's no addresses here in Panama, so right. you have to use geographical landmarks to figure out where to go. Sure, but yeah, and and half the time we talk to one person about anything. And during that conversation, somebody they know just pops up at you know out of the or from around the corner, or whatever. Hey, how you doing? I'll see you later. Get together tomorrow. That sort of thing. So everybody here seems to know each other. A lot of a lot of people here speak English, and uh, there are a lot of uh, um, foreigners from from all over. Uh, we're staying at uh, Lula's Bed and Breakfast. There are two other couples staying there right now. One couple is from Belarus. They're really interesting people, and there's another couple. I believe they're from Finland. Yeah, they're really nice people too. Younger couples, you know, they're both in their twenties. Um, so, yeah, yeah, there, uh, and I'm, I'm still surprised at how many people actually speak English here. Um, tourist trap. Tourist trap. Well, not the entire island. I mean, the, uh, Bocas del Toro, there's Bocas Town, which you're looking at right now, is a very small part of it. Um, this is the bar strip, basically. <coughs> there's other ones, but there's yeah. like five of them in a row right here. Sure. Um. But if you walk away from this area, um, there's uh, more uh, areas of Panamanian natives, um, and a lot of those areas are, are they're more poor. They, there's you know fences and barbed wire at practically every residence. Um, you know, so there's there's clearly a concern about uh, you know safety in those areas. Um, There's been a lot of police presence, though, too. We've noticed that. High police presence. Uh, we're not entirely sure how much of that can be attributed to COVID. People here uh, still take uh, coronavirus very seriously. Not quite as seriously as they do in David, but still a lot more seriously than anything I've seen in the States. But in David and here, I would say that the amount of police presence that we see out and about regularly just doing patrols and standing around watching for trouble reminds me of like events back in Michigan like when you go to 4th of July somewhere and they have police every so often watching for problems or at a carnival or something like that it's like that everywhere here just in general they're just out and on patrol and watching sure and we got uh stopped and questioned by the police yesterday as a matter of fact very nice guy explained to him i don't speak spanish very well he spoke a little bit of english just wanted to know what we were doing where you we know. were going where yeah. we were staying <laughs> we, I said, we, we said we're fresh off the boat pal we don't know what we're doing um I think we <laughs> but we're staying at lula's and he was like oh okay, <laughs> okay. asked if he needed to see our passports and, and no, he didn't, you know, as long as you're, you know, as long as you don't uh, see the police and turn around and walk quickly away or something, if you don't act suspicious. Um, 
You, you can act dumb all you want to, I guess, but you know, we're, <laughs> we're just idiot tourists at this point, so. We're just here to spend money. Yeah, we're here to spend money. Hey, guess that makes us okay. Right, right, just, don't arrest me. Don't put me in jail. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, we're having a good time so far. Uh, the, the, it's a little bit hot for Katrina here, but, uh, mm -hmm. but we'll figure it out. We're, uh, still on patrol still exploring and uh we, and we have a long way to go we're just getting started we're just getting started today was our first our first day in bocas del toro and uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow until next time this is can you dig it and the captain